Yo guys, it's Clay here, back with another YouTube video. Today, we are going to be using a random gun picked from a random number generator, and we also got the attachments randomized. Before we get into the video, if you could hit that sub button, we are so close to 2,000 subscribers, and also hit that like button. Today's like goal is 35 likes, and hitting the like button is the easiest way to support the channel. I hope you guys enjoy the video, so let's get straight. Basically, what I'm thinking about doing is doing a random number generator for my class setup and for what gun I picked. So I'm going to have it up on the screen just so y'all can see so as you guys can see right here i have the random number generator and i also have my notepad right here i went through and had the random number generator pick all my guns that i was going to possibly be using and it came up with the qbz milano aug rpd and pellington so now i'm gonna do a number one through five and i'm gonna see which one it picks and then whatever one it picks, I'm going to have the random number generator come up with my class setup. So as you guys can see, these are all of the optics for the RPD. So now we're going to spin the wheel until we come down to the last optic. That will be what I have to use on my class setup. We'll see which one is the first one to get taken off. Sadly, the 2X is not going to be what we're using. So now we're going to do another spin. Another pretty decent optic is taken off. And of course, the 3X is taken off. This is not looking good so far. And the last good optic, unless, oh, right. this class setup is going to be pretty bad. I'm not good with any of these other, maybe the Silix, but it's being taken off too. I don't know what optic this is, but I'm kind of glad it's taken off. I'll probably skip to the last one right here. So it looks like today I am going to be using the four time scope on the RPD. Just so you guys can see, I am going to be running the RPD. I'll show you the 4X. This is what it looks like. This will be what I'm using in today's gameplay. So now, as you guys can see, I have a list of all the muzzles. We're going to do the same thing that we did with the optics and we're just, we're just going to spend until we have the last one. And one of the best ones gets taken off first. Again, Grew Suppressor. I have a pretty good feeling this is going to be like one of the worst class setups for the RPD. But I'm actually kind of glad I got recommended to do this video because I'm running out of ideas. And I need some new class setups to try. So if you guys want to help me, as I've been asking for, put some class setups down in the comments. The flash guard is taken off. I never really use that, so I really don't care. And we get to use the muzzle break 7.62. Honestly, I am not that upset with this it adds eight percent to our vertical recoil control i'm not upset with it i mean it's not bad so now like the last two that we did we are gonna spin until we get the last one and this time it is for the barrels i pray the task force doesn't get taken off but it, it most likely is going to the groove cut down is the first one i don't really use this one i might have to give it a try later on 
the cut down barrel. I actually just used this barrel in a recent RPD video. The match grade barrel is the next one to be taken off. The division barrel is the next one. I hope I get to use the, spe uh, the task force barrel. Please stop. Finally, I got a good attack. So now just so you guys can see, I am gonna put the task force barrel on. Probably put that on. The next one we're gonna be doing is the body. So now we're just gonna get right into it. This is for the body. I really don't care which one I get on this one, to be honest. They're all pretty good attachments. <clears throat> the KGB target. I'm not sure which one that is. The KGB target designator? Yeah. Okay. The five milliwatt laser. This is one that I don't really use a lot. The only reason why I don't use that one is because it takes off 8% to aim down side time. The tiger team spotlight. Between both of these, I really wouldn't care. And it looks like we're gonna be going with the mounted flashlight. Which one is it? Okay, that's one. Okay. All right. So the next attachments we're going to be doing is the underbarrel. So now getting into the underbarrel, there is a couple of ones that I would rather have, but obviously we're not choosing. So whatever we get is what we have to use. But while having the the task force barrel, I would rather have the spetnaz grip or the foregrip. But we're probably not going to get those. Or the VDV. The VDV is a good uh, under barrel too. And of course, it's taken off. And the infiltrator grip. So it's leaving us with the two under barrels that I really, really want. Hopefully, we get the spet nas. And it looks like we're getting it. So we're gonna go ahead and put the spet nas grip. The next one we are doing is the magazine. So now we're just gonna get right into it. We're just gonna get right into it. Just like the body, I really don't care which one we get. Anything but the speed loader, the vandal speed loader. Hopefully we don't get the Vandal Speed Loader, but I mean, regardless, they're both fast mags and it looks like we're going to be using it. <clears throat> so we're just going to go over here and select it. The next one is the handle. And you guys know I love the Girl Elastic Wrap, so... Hopefully we can get that. <clears throat> the girl elastic wrap and the serpent wrap would be the ideal one to go for in this class setup. Just because it's an LMG, you want to be able to aim down your sights really quickly.
And the Serpent Wrap is the next one to be taken off. That is amazing. <clears throat> and it looks like we are going to be using the Gru Elastic Wrap. I did not rig this wheel at all. The next attachments we are going to be using is the stock. Now these don't seem to really matter for me. I mean, it's an LMG. I would like to have a strafe stock. Or something that gives me just a little bit more movement. And it looks like we are going to be using the KGB Skeletal Stock. Probably one of the better stocks on the, any attachment that you could use. Alright, so now that we got our class set up, I'm going to go over the attachments for you guys. So y'all can see what they all do, with the cons, the pros. So starting off, we have the 4X scope. It doesn't have any, like any of these optics don't have any pros or cons. Personally, I would never use this, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to have to use it. On the muzzle, we are going to be using the muzzle brake 7.62. It adds 8% to the vertical recoil control, and I couldn't have asked for a better muzzle. Obviously, we would rather have the Gru Suppressor or the KGB Eliminator or the Spetnaz Compensator. But having the muzzle brake doesn't, it has no cons to it, so it's a really good muzzle. On the barrel, I'm going to be using the 20.3 Task Force barrel, and it adds 5% to our damage, 100% to effective damage range, and 44% to bullet velocity. This is a really good barrel, especially for the RPD. It brings up the damage to 44, effective damage range to 50.8 meters, and the bullet velocity is amazing, 982.91 milliseconds. On the body, the wheel picked the mounted flashlight. It adds 20% to reveal distance. It has no cons. I personally never used this, but obviously for the sake of the video, I have to use it. On the underbarrel, we have the best underbarrel I think that there is. It adds 8% to the vertical recoil control and 30% to horizontal. And it has it has one con of shooting move speed. And, um, it takes away 9% of your shooting move speed. But honestly, I don't think it's that bad. On the magazine, I am using the Vandal Speed Loader at 30% to the reload quickness and 33% added to the max starting ammo. It does have a lot of cons here that you can see. It takes away a lot of the movement speed. But honestly, that's fine. And on the handle, the wheel picked the Gru Elastic Wrap. 30% to the aim down sight time, 90% to the flinch resistance, and it also adds aim while going prone. You can see the cons right here. Honestly, I don't think that adds that big of a difference because we are going to be running the KGB Skeletal Stock and it adds 30% to the sprint to fire time and 40% to the aim walking movement speed. Overall, this is not a bad class setup. There is a lot of good attachments. The only thing I probably would have changed to make it even better was the optic. And I would have put like a 2x or a 3x. But other than that, it's not a bad class setup. So we're going to jump out into a gameplay where I, I'm going to try my best to get a nuke for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button and I'll see you in the next one. Yo guys, before we get into the gameplay, if you could put down any of your favorite class setups, they can be bad attachments or they can be good. It all depends on you. I'm running out of ideas for some videos, so I need you guys to help me. So if you could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it. All right, so we're going to be checking out the random RPD class that was given to us. 
I have been recording this video for about an hour. It's not that I'm struggling. It's more that I'm getting killed by stupid stuff. And by my poor decisions, like, oh my god, what a random nade. Uh, my last game, I was one off. And I decided to stand on a window and I just got bursted by an M16. Is anybody gonna walk over here? I guess not. Put the sniper down. There's no way. Alright, so we're on a five right now. Sniper. This guy with the sniper is killing all of my teammates. And unfortunately, that's just where the RPD lacks. It's not really that good close range. Well, it is good, but you gotta be able to aim in faster. And I wasted my spy plane, so. This guy, he just, I don't know why, he just picks to go somewhere and then goes to another spot. Look how annoying you're playing. I'm using a RPD. My teammates are actually pushing them back into their spawn. And I do need to play a little slower with this class setup. But my teammates don't know how to hold angles. Like look look at look at the teammate right here. I'm gonna I'm literally gonna get sniped. My God. Why are you running around like that? We're gonna back up here because I don't know if they're right here or not. We do have a harp now, so that's good. That guy's being sneaky. What? What was that? There's no way. This is my type of look. Only happens to me. Two minutes calling another swap plane. Oh my god, this dude. Oh my god. I can't catch a break. I'm not I'm not doing this video on Nuketown. I know I'm gonna end up resorting to that, but I can't. I can't. I just feel like that would be like a cheat, a cheap way out. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and call in my harp.
So we kind of popped off right there. I mean, nothing more to it. I'm on a 12 now. He's trying to snipe me. Teammates just died, so we're gonna back up now. Teammates, if y'all don't shoot y'all's guns, why are y'all not watching behind? I mean, they can have me. Look, look at all my teammates. They're all on the outside. Like, what are we doing? And then whenever I decide to come over here, y'all are gonna peek. Come on. I won't feel comfortable until I get another war machine. All right. Oh my God, we barely got it. So annoying. Look at all of them pushing together. I mean, I understand, but when you're getting spanked, kind of got to get your body shot. I know I'm here. Alright, we're calling in the nuke. Probably got a nuke with one of the slowest RPD classes. It's so slow aiming down with the 4X. Alright, 76 and 8. I hope you guys enjoy the video.